So the first video talked about auto launched versus screen flows. And so now let's talk through this, this, this auto launch that would have been launched by a process builder. And uh, first step, this is just my own habit, is to build a, uh, a, a, a variable that's the record ID for the original opportunity. So I'm taking the, the record ID and make sure that it's coded just so I know which one I'm pulling as I work through the flow. So we can cancel that just because we're not changing anything. And then based on that, we're going to go get it. Now remember, the way flow works is um, it can get records from Salesforce and then it'll process whatever records you store. So in this, what I'm doing is uh, bringing in an opportunity record and where that record ID equals the original opportunity variable. And we are going to uh, store that in a, in a record variable we've created called the current opportunity. And then these are the fields we're pulling in. Now you may have different fields that you're pulling in because uh, you've got a different opportunity record, different customization that you've put into it. You can see this is a nonprofit success pack example, uh, but again, every opportunity record has uh, has different fields. And then uh, the the assignment now. So between this, there could be a whole bunch of kind of if then conditions uh, defining a whole series of variables based on the opportunities you're working with. Simple one is there's a difference between one that was closed one and one that was closed lost is you may have different information that you're pulling across or different amounts or whatever else. Uh, and especially as you're looking at building the next year, uh, you may have different information that you want to store. So again, there may be lots of conditional logic that you'd want to build in the front end, uh, but uh, hopefully that makes sense. So kind of based on that, here is a, is a real simple version. What we're doing is pulling in, uh, this is the, the new opportunity record clone, which again is a record variable we created. And then uh, we're pulling in the, the current, um, current opportunities account ID. So we've got the account ID then plugged in. Uh, we're going to bring in a formula for, for name. We're going to bring a constant for clone, a formula for close date, and we're going to pull across directly the primary contact, the record type, uh, the opportunity record type, because in Nonprofit Success Pack, there's a whole bunch of donations and grants, that kind of thing. And then there's an owner ID, which makes sure that the same owner is is uh, is carried across but that may change as well depending on your organization so uh, let's look at some of these so if we go out to the manager um, just off the top the, the constant simple example here we're, we're talking about assigning every kind of future opportunity in a prospecting uh, stage that assumes you have a prospecting stage. So you want to make sure that for their, uh, you know, there's a, again, conditional logic around establishing what the right uh, initial uh, stage should be uh, based on record type and other information. Um, and then you also want to put in a, a, a name. And so this one is, is the current name and then a uh, space, then the placeholder, then a space, the word placeholder, that's just going to show up as the name placeholder, and then here's the year. And the way that we get that is, is we take the current close date, and we use the year function to get just the year for that close date, add one to the year, and then call it a text, so that gives us, in effect, 2020 or 2021, depending on kind of when, uh, when that opportunity closes. And then the other one is the close date. Assumption here again is that we're talking about a year, maybe different. You may have different logic that's that's depending on the, the type of the opportunity, whatever else, that could create a different date. But this is just the current date plus 365. And that gets us what we need. Uh, the next stage then is to uh, create the record. And because we already have the, the new opportunity record clone, we're just saying to build one of those, and uh, we didn't bring across the record ID. We didn't add it in, so we're okay there. And so we can say we're fine. Um, the next stage we're going to do is to talk about the related objects uh, that we the records that we want to connect to this. So that'll be the next video. Thanks for watching.